D2DNY real world HVAC simplified and a lot of you might ask how do you get your train unit to work with a regular standard smart thermostat or just a regular thermostat that has uh, R C G Y1 Y2 W1 W2 so this here is a train rooftop unit as you can see and what you're looking at that board is the conversion board this is a standard thermostat conver conversion board so how does it work you get the board and this black wire right here see that black wire got plugged into the main board the main control board and you can see this this control board is not is not the reliable version or the or the RTM version I did a video with the uh, Reliatel or, or the RTM version and that board looks different on that board you will have you know regular R, G, C, Y1, Y2 and W that's that board you would need you would need a conversion to use a regular thermostat so now you see here you still have your uh, terminal strip and also the unit, unit that comes with the RTM or the Reliatel inside a Reliatel control board the board is the board is actually the main control board is actually smaller than this see how big this main control board is just so you know that you have to use a dedicated train thermostat and on the train thermostat you have terminals correlating to these numbers right here it's got to match the numbers based on the, on the train thermostat or zone sensor you have but if you are if you if you want to upgrade and use a smart thermostat or a standard thermostat you can just get this board there's a number it's a tart number right there it's upside it down but you can flip it around just to see what it is all right so you are that from train there's another number that's pretty much it's simple what you get is a control board here and this cable this cable right here so what this cable typically this plug would be over here right there so then you unplug that and plug in the black cable that comes along with the with the kit or with the board with, with the conversion board thermostat conversion board so you this this plug right here what is it called oh on the main board it's called you know what i'm going to give i'm going to put a, a schematic i have the schematic the warren diagram will make it easier i'll show you what it's called but it's rather simple so this was this was this was plugged in this was plugged into the main board in the factory and uh all you do you just unplug it from there it was it was plugged over here that space right now where the black the black wires that came with the uh that plug and wires came with the with thermostat upgrade board and so you just unplug that from the main board turn the power off unplug that plug from the main board after you install and mount your thermostat board and there's a slot this slot was made for it you can see the slot was made for it just slide it into the groove and there's only one screw on this one but there's another screw hole up here you could put another screw see you could add a second screw to it but um yeah so you screw the board in it already comes with a slot and just unplug uh this wire or this plug would have been over here just unplug it unplug it all right and then plug in 
this one that comes with the with the with the kit right here plug this one here there's some more you can't go wrong you can't plug it in the wrong spot and then substitute that black one with this one and you're good to go and then um i'll show you on the uh schematic or the wiring diagram bear with me let me get this thing opened up so these terminals you're going to have to change your wires you're going to have to change the wires in that terminal because they won't they they no longer will correlate so you will have to change i'll show you what it's going to be okay this is the uh instructions And I'm on the roof, doing some filter change as well. Got four of these units here, train units. Okay, so these are your instructions. It's rather simple. Piece of cake. A lot of people have this, these older train units and would like to use a regular thermostat. So here's the instructions. I mean, if you're a pro, you don't need it. If you do it yourself, or perhaps you do need it. Uh, so you got the parts list. The CTI board, that's what it's called, CTI board. You give you four screw, connector cable, which I just pointed out in the video. So you see the black cable, it's a connector cable. And then the wire and diagram, which is this here. Um, so here, on this diagram here, so it's showing you here, this is a uh, typical two heat, two cool thermostat. And this is your terminal block right here, where you, where you have all these wires. You see that's it right there. And zoom in, all the numbers. All the numbers and everything is there so once you once you connect the board like i show you like it's connected already then uh terminal five you can see terminal five right that will be heat number one terminal three will go to Heat number two or W2, so there'll be W1, terminal five will be W1, seat one, terminal three will be W2, the seat two, and uh, terminal seven would be for your fan, right? And terminal 20, that's your C, our common, and then uh, uh, terminal one would be cool first stage or Y1 and terminal four would be cool second stage say so cool two right here or Y2 and that's it and oh and uh, terminal 14 would be your R 24 24 volts 24 volts hot Okay, so this is your uh, CTI board or your thermost <clears throat> thermostat interface board in the middle here. It's your main control board. Here is your uh, the uh, the cable that came along with the CTI board, and so you you, you substitute. Uh, 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 the, uh, from the main, main board UPC to the CTI that's a black cable and then um, from the interface uh, board back to the terminal block you will have the original plug that was over here on the main board so that's the plug with the purple wires so, see that plug with the purple wires the purple red and blue the plug with the purple, red, and blue. 
right? That was originally plugged in, plugged in over here on the main control board. Now you would unplug that and plug in the black wire that comes along with the CTI uh, thermostat interface board. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And if you got a question regarding this, leave it in the comment. You know, I'll, I'll answer it. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Here's some more information for you. All right, you can pause the video, screenshot it for your benefit there. Okay. All right. Okay.